if there is any critter on the planet that I love, I can't even say that because as those words were coming out of my mouth, I thought, what about the anglerfish? The anglerfish is so cool, but the hagfish, oh my gosh, the hagfish is cool. Okay, look at it. First of all, it's got this creepy face. It does have a cranium, but it does not have vertebrae yet, but it does have a notochord. And look at how it can tie itself in knots. That actually will help you remember that we don't have vertebrae yet. So let's go back to our cladogram and make sure that we add in our hagfish. The hagfish has a cranium. Go ahead and give a knock knock on your own cranium so that you can remember the hagfish. And then I just have to tell you, I know I've told you this before because I can't help it. It's like one of the coolest things like ever. This is a hagfish. They make slime. Now, old boys in this video, they decided to um, go ahead and electrocute this hagfish. The hagfish is not dead and it's not being tortured. It's just um, anesthetized. And they electrocute it just a little bit and you'll see that they're the when they electrocute it, it kind of makes like glue. And it, they've got this entire beaker full of water and just wait till you see what happens. Okay, so here they are. I'm, I didn't put the sound on because it's kind of irritating, but here's the little electrocution. Aw, poor little buddy gets electrocuted. You see the glue. There it is. Like, I mean, that's not very much glue. Throw that stuff in some water. Mix, mix, mix. Seriously? Oh, oh. Slime. Really? Now look, here's their fancy slime slimer. What is that thing <laughs> and who are these people? Now look, the slime glory day of ever slimy. What? No. <laughs> no, that's not possible. That, holy slime. What? And people eat that stuff. What happened to all the water, dog? Show us the water be beaker. No water left. The water is gone. The water turned entirely to slime. And yes, indeed, you can eat that. They, it's an egg white substitute. Now, hagfish, they like burrow into dead and dying critters and eat them from the inside out. And they tie themselves into knots to like rip food off of something because they don't have jaws. And so they have to like do the best they can. And the more the critter is, um, what's the word? Disintegrating, um, decaying because it's dead, then the easier it is for the hagfish to yumptualize it. And when they get scared, they make slime. And they hopefully like scare the crap out of anything that tries to eat them because they, whatever tries to eat them gets this mouthful of what slime? Like this is crazy talk. And the other thing that's really cool about hagfish, you can fish for them. You can go hagfish hunting. And so you take a bucket and you drill some holes in it and then you put like some gnarly, disgusting, rotting, death meat into it <laughs> and then you throw it over the edge of the ocean into the water and let it sink to the bottom. Leave it there for a little while. The hagfish are like, mmm, that smells really yummy. And then they go and they, they think they're like squeezing into like broken open death holes of some kind of dying organism. And so they creep in the little holes and then they hang out in there and eat whatever dead, dying thing you threw in there as bait. But you have to be really careful because when you reel them in, if you like shake the bucket at all, then they're going to go, oh crap! And what are they going to produce? Slime. And then one of them makes slime and then that scares the crap out of the other one that makes slime and then pretty soon their whole bucket is pure slime. And then what happens to them? They can't breathe anymore and they drown. They drown in their own slime because they can't get any oxygen from the slime. They can't breathe the slime. So it's a sad story. You don't want to suffocate your hagfish. They're also called slime eels. 
You don't want to suffocate them, so be nice to them if you're going to go fishing for them. And maybe they will make some slime for you. I really want some hagfish slime someday. So if anybody goes fishing for hagfish and they want to get some slime out, I want to see it. All right, that was awesome. Now we're going to go, now we're going to get vertebrae. I think that's our next characteristic that's coming. So let's look at some vertebrates and see, let's flesh out our whatever this thing is, the cladogram, a little bit more. It's kind of hard to get cooler than hagfish, but we'll try.